So hello everyone, welcome to Uni Voyage. This is Rushil Shekhar, and today we're going to solve some sums based on trigonometric ratios. Before starting with the sums, we need to make sure that we um, just note down some formulas. So you can pause the video and take a screenshot. You can remember uh, these formulae by the acronym called OSA Chota, where S stands for sine, C stands for cos, and T stands for tan. All these formulae are very, very important. So make sure you make a note of these. Uh, let's proceed. Even these formulae. Um, uh, this is a table which indicates all trigonometric ratios and their signs in respective quadrants. So in the first quadrant, all are positive. In the second quadrant, sine and cosec are positive. In the third quadrant, uh, tan and cot are positive and in the fourth quadrant cos and sec are positive. I've also prepared a acronym so that you can remember uh, these um, values and um, you can refer to this table also. It's really important because sometimes at a point in the question you come across sign 30 for which they expect you to know the value of it. All right, so let's move forward. So in this table, I really need you to focus on this. A part where it clearly says that the um, range of sine and cos is between minus 1 to 1. Also, you might have noticed that cos of minus theta is equal to cos theta. So, I'll show you through the graph of cos theta that how this, this is true. So, the blue one is the graph of cos theta. So, let's take this value. This is actually cos 90 and this is cos of minus pi by 2, right? Cos of minus pi by 2, which is 0. Now, if you go on and check the value of cos of pi by 2, it also turns out to be 0. So, you, through this, you can infer. Otherwise, you can just remember this. The first question is, uh, find the value of tan 1 into tan 2 into tan 3 into um, tan 4 soon 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 up to um, tan 87 into tan 88 into tan 89. So uh, from the formula we know that tan theta is equal to 1 by cot theta right and we also know that tan of 90 minus theta is equal to cot theta right. So let's uh, write the question again. We can write tan 1 as tan 1, uh, tan 2 as tan 2, tan 3 as tan 3. And what we'll do is that um, we write tan 87 as cot 3 from this. So we can write tan 87 as uh, cot 3. Right now, uh, cot the tan 88 can be written as cot 2. And similarly, tan 89 can be written as cot 1. Now I want to uh, draw attention towards this fact. I'll just take a different pen. Right. We have tan 1 and we have cot 1. So if we clap them together, what can we get? Tan 1 into cot 1. Now I want you to um, throw some light upon this formula here. Tan theta is equal to 1 by cot theta. So I can write tan theta as 1 by cot 1 into cot 1 this this cancels and gives me 1 so similarly i'll do this for all values of tan uh, and cot and if you might get confused um, you, you might get confused about the middle value so let's write them down so in the middle you'll have tan 44 into tan 45 and into tan 46 which we can write as cot 44 right so now these also get cancelled and, and as you know, the value of tan 45 is 1. So the final answer you get is 1 into 1 into 1 into 1, which at the end gives you 1. All right. The answer to this question is 1. Let's uh, proceed. Question 2. Sin theta, if sin theta plus cos theta is equal to m, then sin theta to 6 theta plus cos theta to 6 theta equals. So, uh, just to let you know, this question is from IPM at 2019. Alright. So, how can we go about this question? 
So I think let's square this and let's see what we can get. Because um, there is sine raised to 6 theta. So I think we can square it and then cube it. Right. Let's see uh, where do we go. So sine theta plus cos theta is equal to m. Upon squaring it will become, sorry, sine theta, sine square theta plus cos square theta plus 2 sine theta cos theta is equal to n square. We can write sine square theta plus cos square theta as 1 plus 2 sine square theta cos theta is equal to m square. Now we can rearrange sine theta cos theta and write it as m square sorry m square minus 1 by 2. So let's keep this relation in mind when we uh, try to further derive the value of sine raised to 6 plus cos raised to 6. So we all know that um, uh, a cube plus b cube is equal to a plus b into a square plus b square minus a b. So what we can do to in order to get sine raised to 6 plus cos raised to 6 we can take a as sine square theta and uh, b as cos square theta. So let's see where we get. Let's see where we go. So we'll get a sine square theta plus cos square theta right into sine raised to 4 theta plus cos raised to 4 theta minus sine theta cos theta sine square theta cos square theta and this is 1 so we don't need to write this again the sine raised to 4 theta plus cos raised to 4 theta so we'll try to make a uh, a plus b the whole a, um, a plus b the whole square relation here so how can we write this so let's write this as sine square theta the whole square plus cos square theta the whole square so in order to get uh, uh, a plus b the whole square we need a 2 uh, sine square uh, theta cos square theta and if we have added 2 sine square theta cos square theta we also need to deduct 2 sine square theta cos square theta so let's deduct that so that will become 3 sine square theta cos square theta because there is already a sine square theta cos square theta attached in this equation so We've got our a square plus b square equation here, which we can write as uh, sine square theta plus cos square theta, the whole square minus 3 sine theta cos theta, sine square theta cos square theta. So this is 1 minus 3, and now we can. Um, use this reference here which is sine theta cos theta is equal to m square minus 1. So what we can write this as uh, sine theta cos theta the whole square. Yeah so eventually what we come to is 1 minus 3 into m square minus 1 the whole square divided by 4 which is your option D. So it's a very lengthy question. I won't advise you to do this question in the first go. So you can uh, uh, do the easy question and then come back to this question to solve it. Okay. So D is the answer. Let's proceed. So find the maximum and minimum value of 8 cos theta, 8, 8, 8 cos a plus 15 sin a plus 15. So I will tell you a formula to remember this. Here the maximum value of uh, a sine theta plus b cos theta plus c. So your the maximum value can be c plus root of a square plus b square and the minimum value here it can be c minus root of a square plus b square. All right. So now we ask the maximum and the minimum. So your C is 15 and uh, 
B here is uh, 8 and A is 15. So you just write 15 square plus 8 square. So you should know your Pythagorean triplets really well. 15 minus 15 square plus 8 square. And if you know what is 15 root of 8, 15 square plus 8 square, it's 17. So 15 plus 17 is 32. And this is 15 minus 17 is minus 2. So the range is minus 2 till 32. All right, this is the answer. Let's proceed. Given that cos x plus cos y is equal to 1, the range of sin x minus sin y. Okay, so now I want you to remember this graph because it will really come in handy. I'll show you that for, every, for any given set of values of sine and cos, there are four possible uh, signs attached to it. All right, so let's take this. Your sine 30 is one, uh, 1 by 2 and cos 30 is root 3 by 2. So for this set, uh, there exists a value where uh, there is minus root 3 by 2 and minus 1 by 2. Similarly, there also exists a value where cos is minus and sin is plus and there also exists a value where cos is, um, uh, uh, cos is positive and sin is negative. So there exists four value for every particular set of sine and cos, right? So let's go by this logic and do this question, all right? So we're given that cos x plus cos y is equal to one. Okay, let's take cos x is zero and cos y as, uh, cos x is one and cos y is zero. And here you have to find the range of sine x and sine y. So what would be sine x here? sin x would be 0 and sin y would be um, 1 and this would give you minus 1. Similarly, if you take uh, cos x is 0 and cos y is 1, you will get 1 minus 0 and 1. So many people would mark 1 minus 1 is the answer, but this is not the answer. Now, I'll tell you why. Let's take a case where cos is half, cos x is half and cos y is half. So the corresponding value of sin here would be root 3 by 2. And similarly, if we want to maximize uh, the value of this expression, we'll have to take sine as minus. So this is where your knowledge of this graph comes into handy. So let's take sine as minus root 3 by 2. What we'll get is root 3. All right. And similarly, now if I take cos as half and again, uh, cos x is half and cos y is half, I can also take sine x is minus root 3 by 2 and sin y as uh, root 3 by 2 and what i'll get here is minus root 3 so the actual range of sin x is sin x minus sin y when cos x plus cos y is 1 is minus root 3 till root 3 this is also an ipm at 2019 question all right let's uh, proceed so if tan theta plus cot theta is equal to 2, find tan raised to 10 theta plus cot raised to 10 theta. So we know that tan theta plus cot theta. So how can we write cot theta? We can write as 1 by tan theta is equal to 2. So how can we proceed with this? Okay, so let's take uh, tan theta as x. All right. This is the value. So x plus 1 by x is equal to 2. So if you go on to solve the quadratic equation, it will be a really long method. It's a really special uh, case here. So you should know that minimum value of a number and its reciprocal is 2. All right. This is a really important um, thing which you should remember. And the value of x here is 1. So from this, we can conclude that tan theta is equal to 1, so is cot theta because tan theta is equal to 1 by cot theta and 1 by 1 is equal to 1. So what we can do here is write tan, th tan theta as 1 raised to 10 
Similarly, cot 1 raised to 10, which would give you 2 eventually. Right? Let's go to the next question. E raised to log uh, tan 1 plus log tan 2 plus tan 3, soon up to log tan 88. Before doing this question, you should know basics of log logarithm like log A plus log B is equal to log AB. Just keeping this in mind, what we can do is that we can club the, all the values of tan together. So if I have log, let's consider this as A and let's consider this as B. So similarly, all these values of tan will get clubbed. So what we'll get is a log of tan 1 into tan 2 into tan 3 soon up to tan 89. This is under 1 log. So we can write this as log of, from the first question, we know that the value of this expression is 1. Now, uh, you should also know that log of 1, the value for log of 1 is 0. Alright, so we can write this as e raised to 0, which would in turn give you 1 as the answer. Alright. So this was it for trigonometric ratios. As of now, we will uh, keep coming out with new videos. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed the session. Um, keep watching Univerge and please like, share and subscribe.